is a controversial topic we've been covering for weeks. Missoula Representative Zoe Zephyr was barred from speaking on the House floor for the remainder of the 68th legislative session, meaning she can, can't give comments on proposed laws, but she can vote remotely. We're wanting to get a better understanding of the LGBTQ plus community. So this morning, Andy Nelson, the executive director of the LGBTQ plus Western Montana, joins us today to speak on the events that's happening at the Montana House. Can you explain what you've been hearing from the people who you represent in this community? I mean, generally, people are frustrated with the whole situation that's going on. Um, and in so many people's opinions, it, it starts with the the problem at hand, which is not allowing a duly elected representative to speak, therefore not allowing the voice of her 11,000 constituents in Missoula County to be heard. Someone reached out to us and said, um, they said, if you're born a man, you're a he. If you're born a woman, you're a she. So what's your response to folks who believe this? Gender can be a lot more complex than people think. But it can also be very simple if you just let it be and allow for that to be. You know, most of us grow up in the mindset that, you know, there's just boys and girls, he's and she's, it's that basic. But that's not true. Even biologically, there are intersex people among us that, you know, that's a topic we don't talk about very often. There's non-binary folks out there in the world that exist today and are more open and visible than ever before. Um, so just having, you know, male and female, he and she, it's not the way of reality. Um, so when it comes down to pronoun usage, um, there are more pronouns out there than just the basics too. Many folks identify with a they, them pronoun, and many folks that use that pronoun tend to be maybe non-binary people, transgender people, or those that are, they fit outside the binary of male and female. We also had someone reach out to our newsroom asking, um, why can't we just call her, Zoe Zephyr, a, a Missoula representative instead of saying Missoula transgender representative? It can be really complicated because Zoe as a transgender woman is one of very few voices in the room. You know, Montana only has two transgender elected officials. Both are from Missoula, Zoe Zephyr, who identifies as a trans woman, and S.J. Howell, who identifies as a non-binary transgender person. So, you know, in many headlines that you may be seeing over the past couple of weeks, all of them have the word transgender in them. It's hard to tell, you know, from my perspective in LGBTQ advocacy, if that's necessarily a bad thing or a good thing, you know, by, by saying outright that Zoe is a transgender woman, it can put the reader into that perspective of, you know, where she comes from, you know, with her lived experiences, why her advocacy for trans rights is so important, obviously, because she's a trans woman and it's so important to her. It's so, it's so important to her constituents and the people she serves. I also do think it's important because I think a lot of what is going on there's some transphobia surrounding this as well. Unfortunately, um, I, I've been thinking to myself, you know, if if what Zoe said on the House floor about the blood on the hands comment, if it was said by, you know, a cisgender Democrat who's, you know, fa fairly well liked on both sides of the aisle and said the same verbiage would they be reprimanded in the same way? Some people feel as though this conversation is redundant. And so I wanted to ask you, what is the importance of continuing to have these conversations? I would encourage them to contact the Republican lawmakers and tell them to quit trying to take away the rights of transgender people. That's why we keep talking about it. You know, all transgender people, non-binary people, two-spirit people, all they want is to live in the world and be left alone. These laws that we are fighting and keep talking about, they're actively trying to take away rights that already exist. And so that's why we keep talking about it. Well, thanks so much, Andy.